All right, guys, I think you're really going to be excited about this one. This one is a phenomenal tip. Um, a prerequisite to be able to do this, um, this tech tip today is watching the Google Forms video. Um, but before I even get started, I just wanted to say once again, thank you so much for your support. Um, I have a big goal to grow this group um, a lot and I need your guys' help. So if you're watching this, I mean, this is absolutely free content. I'm a rainmaker here in Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky. Um, I run my team of five and, um, you know, I don't have any help to run this group. And I'm not saying that to play the victim. I'm just, um, I just really need your help growing it. Um, and I make these videos daily and, um, if you guys could please support me, I've already made some really wonderful connections with, um, agents all across the country. Um, I've gotten a few referrals and I am so grateful. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I'll be posting some testimonials from people that work with me as referral agents. Um, you guys see my systems. I'm an open book. And I really don't let anything fall through the cracks, especially for a, an agent referral. Um, that's why such a large portion of my business is agent, agent to agent referrals. All right, so now that that's over with, let's get started. I'm super excited. Okay, so today the idea is, okay, so I have not jumped in to do emails, direct email, direct mail, um, any kind of campaigns through MailChimp. I have no idea, so don't ask me. Um, <laughs> so I found a little workaround though through smart plans because smart, smart plans are like everything to me. So, um, what we're going to be doing today is building a smart plan to blast out to your database of Mets, um, to have them update their information. Okay. So this is going to be really cool. Um, so we're going to go into, um, smart plans. And we're going to click create and it's going to be a one step smart plan that you can just throw people in whenever you feel like it um, or you could blast it out to your entire database in one fell swoop so i'm going to call this update your info english because i'm going to make one in spanish as well so i'm going to hit apply and what we're going to do is we're going to use the send an email function and we're just going to use the simple email type and then we're going to put something along the lines, like you want to make this really fun and non real estate related, not too professional, just, you know, something really sweet and spunky and fun. If that's not your personality type, then however people know you just be authentic um, because you you're gathering their information so that you can be kind to them. I'm a big advocate of kindness and, um, you know, a lot of people reach out to me and ask me, well, what do you do? Like, how have you um, been able to get, you know, 100% of your clients to use you again? Um, like, how do you have that kind of rate of conversion? I mean, that's unheard of. You know, we hear that 12% of people use their agent again. Um, and it's really, I, I focus on building the relationship first and the real estate will come later. And I, I trust in that, I have faith in that, and it always happens. Um, so just build the relationship first and the real estate will follow. So all that to say, we're talking about just the subject box here. Um, so I'm gonna do something really fun, like um, we want to be a ray of sunshine this year. We want to be maybe your ray of sunshine. There we go. Um, and then, so then your email, you're going to use these merge fields. Um, th these are kind of like, um, like a link that pulls information from the contact card. So when I put this placeholder here, contact first name, whoever I dump into the smart plan, it's going to pull their first name from their contact card. So that way you can blast this out to 800 people and it's still going to seem personalized. Okay. So contact first name and I'm going to put, um, oh, comma. I think there's like a little space back here. Okay, great. So, um, I hope you are doing well. 
we really appreciate your support for our team over the years and we want to pay it forward by sending you little bits of kindness throughout the year and for oops and for many oops years to come something like that you know um because what what we're doing here is sending them birthday cards sending them wedding anniversary cards um sometimes when i have a client that has a wedding anniversary and i have it on their contact card um i'll send them a bottle of champagne through prime now um or like if there's a kid's birthday then i send them like a little five dollar gift from amazon and just deliver it um, directly to their doorstep things like that that really make you stand out um i actually did my last batch of purchase anniversary cards last week and one of my clients got it and was just so excited that she took a picture of it uh, because i use um, send out cards or sorry i use um, banner season actually and i can post a link to my banner season um, in the post um, but i sent her a card with her picture on it and i always take two pictures it's part of my checklist one picture at the final walkthrough with them holding the sold sign. And then the second picture is at the closing with them holding my big keys. Um, it's a big prop that I have and it says we bought our house. Um, and so I store those pictures in Dropbox and that way I can use them every single year when their purchase anniversary rolls around. And so she took a picture of this card and she blasted it out to her group of best friends on WhatsApp and said this is the realtor that you guys need to use like she goes above and beyond like she sent me a screenshot of this like this is powerful stuff like i can't i can't make it up like this actually happens so anyway um so i hope you're doing well we really appreciate your support for our team over the years and you can stick even in here real estate team um and we want to pay it forward by sending you little bits of kindness um, throughout the year and for many years to come Here is a link to update your information and to um, let us know what your favorite things are. We look forward to reading through this and keeping in touch for the rest of the year and for many more years after that. So then we can put in here, click here to update information. I'm gonna double click it here and then I'm going to right click. Oops, I'm going to go here to this link tab. I think this one's the link. Yep, so it puts the link title as click here to update your information. And then I'm gonna put a link target. And then I already have my links saved in my notepad. And here's my English form. I'm gonna right click and copy and paste the link into here. And it's gonna hyperlink this click here to update information. You see that? Okay. Thank you so much and we hope you are well. I think I've been using I, so I'm going to put I, and I hope you are well. So then, Florida Maria McNally, licensed realtor, Ohio, Kentucky, and Maryland. And then my phone number, just in case they need a refresher on that. And that's good to go. And since this doesn't send from my actual email, I'm gonna also include my email in there. Okay, so that's it. So then they're going to, then we're gonna click save here. We're gonna click save there. And then why don't we take this for a spin? What do you guys think? Let's go, I always add myself to any new smart plan that I create. So I'm gonna find myself here. 
and I'm going to go to Smart Plans. I'm going to add myself to the Smart Plan and find the update your info smart plan update my database oh this is something else i've probably created this already <laughs> um okay i'm going to click select i'm going to click confirm and confirm and then that should pop up in my email here shortly while that's loading and sending because it takes a little bit longer for an email to go through um, let me show you guys what this form looks like Okay, again, if you want more information on how to create these Google Forms and link them in this way, um, there is a video in our group. Um, if you go over to the left-hand side and under the little initial menu, there's a little box that says search this group. If you just type Google Forms, it'll take you straight to that video. Okay, I'm gonna refresh and there it is. We want to be your ray of sunshine this year. And so I open it up. It says floor, comma. I hope you're doing well. We really appreciate your support. Um, click here to update your information. So I click there and it takes me to this form. And so this form says first and last name, cell phone, personal email, the big five, right? The address, date of birth, wedding anniversary, but I didn't make this required because not everybody's married. Favorite restaurant, favorite wine, beer, spirit, kids' names and ages, pets' names, ages, and type, and any other favorite things, right? This is super fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you guys want to um, add a bunch of people to a smart plan, remember you would come over here to show 50 contacts, select all, select bulk action, and add to smart plan. Um, in my case, I'm going to want to look for my Spanish speaking people first. Um, sorry, by going to filters, finding Spanish speaking, going to apply. And then I get my 215 people that speak Spanish. And so I would click and add them to the Spanish plan once I create it. Um, and then I would go and do the same thing for my English speaking people, um, which would be everybody but the Spanish speakers. So, um, anyway, I hope that this was super helpful and I really appreciate your support and I'll see you in the next video.